beautiful Newport Beach, Costa Mesa, California day. Looking at a very nice, part of a prestigious collection, 1947 Chevrolet Fleetline Aero Sedan. An incredibly beautiful car. This, everything in this gentleman's collection, he tries to keep having a stock look to it. Uh, this car's been stripped down to bare metal, uh, and uh, the black finish is just absolutely stunning. Uh, but a very nice car, a body on style restoration. It has a lot of neat options on it. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna talk about it. Underneath the hood, it still has a straight six, a little bit hopped up uh, 235 in it. Uh, we'll share the engine compartment here with you. But as we go around here, we're gonna wanna share a lot of neat little options like I mentioned. Um, it has a Fulton visor on it, which is just beautiful. The fit and finish of this car is just spectacular. We'll show you the doors. Uh, You'll hear me say some pretty big words, but this is uh, this car will just make you grin ear to ear. Working spotlight, we'll have a picture of that at Spud's Garage. Uh, the antenna topper here is very cool, vintage accessory. The windshield wipers actually have squirters and they are functional, they are factory. We'll show you the bottle underneath the hood. This is a unique option here. This is what's called a, a passing mirror. You can actually see around the front car in front of you. It kind of gives you a little vertigo when you look at it. It's kind of funky. Um, has some breezers that are pretty rare. These are an aftermarket accessory. Um, and has an alarm system on it, which is actually a little lead sinker. And as soon as you move the car or shake it, it'll set off the horn on the car. And it is functional also. You notice there's no door handle sags or anything. We're gonna kind of just kind of cruise around and talk about it. We may be interrupted as we go through it because people usually stop by. You can see the reflections of me in the car there. The trim is just beautiful. It has uh, wide white radial tires on it. You'll notice there's a little pinstripe on the wheel hubs here. It's a body on restoration, so it's a good driver quality car. He drives this car, it's driven up to Big Bear. It'll cruise down the highway at 70 miles an hour. Has a three speed manual transmission that's got the vacuum assist on it. They call it a vacuum automatic. 47 uh, plates. It has a uh, guide uh, fog or driving lamps, whatever you'd like to call them. Has a bumperette on the front here, very nice. Looks as though it's had a junior award. The uh, grill guard and bumperettes and bumper extensions on the front here are all, those are not factory, I mean those are factory options. Um, they're not something that would have come on the lower end cars is what my point is. It's been upgraded to 12 volts, so all the bright work and everything's been upgraded. This jewel hood uh, ornament is just beautiful. There's no uh, cracking or uh, stressing in the Lexan on it. Again, you can see the, uh, if I miss anything, I've got Jeff, the, one of the curators that helps this collection go along here with me. And if uh, there's an option I miss as I'm walking around here, beautiful trim rings on it. Again, Fulton visor. We get really fun, we get inside, we'll show you more. Kind of a done a neat thing on it, it's got airbags on it so you can drop it down. The factory suspension's retained on the car. We'll actually have a video at the end of this video where we cover the undercarriage on the car. Again, more of driver quality that way, but this car uh, will definitely attract attention wherever you go. The fit and finish of everything is just cool. It see, it has the breezer here. These are optional or uh, made rain guards on it or shade guards, whatever you want to call them. I want to show you the doors here. We're going to get inside, but just want to show you how these doors just shut perfectly. Look at the gaps. <laughs> you hear me giggling with a car like this because I don't get to do a lot of cars like this. I do a lot of street rods and hot rods and every different kind of car, but it's always refreshing when you get a car like this that uh, it's just, you can study it for hours and probably not catch everything on it. Uh, it's just amazing. All the full woodwork uh, is beautiful. Has an aftermarket accessory interior thermometer here. Has a uh, optional factory uh, picnic bench kind of thing. Uh, a little shelf, a vanity shelf for the passenger. Has factory style upholstery. Uh, German square weave style carpet in it. Pardon my bump of the camera here. The seat backs has the mohair style upholstery on it and the strap. Um, has the uh, plastic covers on it like they would have done back in the dealer in the day. You'll see a hat rack up here, which is an option. 
You'll see in the back window a rear window defroster, which is basically a fan. And it's, again, all these items are functional. I'm gonna get in here on the passenger side. I'll do it on the driver's side too. Got a little Smokey the Bear, Yellowstone Park on the dash, a little Lucky Strike. Um, this radio's been all converted by Hot Jeff at Hot Rod Electric, who's one of the curators of this. Um, so this radio is fully functional. You can actually pair it to your phone. It has Bluetooth, it has AM, FM, it has what size amp, Jeff? It has a uh, rear channel amp on it. A rear channel amp on it, so it's got some good sound to it. Um, it's got a tissue dispenser here. It's got a uh, GM red top flashlight mounted onto the steering column with a bracket. This is a GM uh, dash fan or cooling fan for the driver. It has the optional uh, sun visors on them, which they split and they fold down here so you can still see through them. It has a factory GM compass on it. I know this video is going to be a little bit long. This is a really fun car to do. Beautiful car. It has a vacuum assist shift, which actually assists in the movement of the arms. You still need to use the clutch, but it's just crazy smooth. Again, a car drive down the freeway. Hey, we're gonna let the door shut here. Just like that, push of the finger. You don't have to slam the doors on this big old girl. We're gonna stand back and let you take a look at it here. Beautiful morning in Newport Beach here. All the trim and the bright work on the car is spectacular. Um, you'll see on the back here we also have the optional bumperettes on the rear, the uh, three tri, tri bumperettes in the back. It has a uh, optional rear window wiper on it. Again, all functional working. You can actually see the rear window defroster in the back window right there. The uh, AAA safety star that you would have got back in the day, uh, Jeff has converted it to an LED third brake light. Are those LED tail lights, Jeff? No. Yeah. Either. Okay, but they all been updated to 12 volt. Has a uh, uh, over here. It has the optional spare, th you know, where you can actually put spare tire pressure in from the back here, so you don't have to access the spare. Has the optional reverse light on it. These wings are optional on the back here. This bumper guard, this center bumper guard, actually, you have to push the button to open the trunk. You have to pull this back a little bit. So if you open the trunk, you might nick it if you don't pull that back like it's supposed to. Step back and let you take a look at it here. Too much fun. Beautiful car. If you're looking for a car that's one of a kind, beauty and style. You just don't see a lot of these on the road. Again, the shade and rain gutter uh, uh, guards here. We're going to show you this door here. Shuts the same way, the gaps. And look at the trim, the way the trim. Now this owner did strip this car down to bare metal. I know I mentioned that earlier, but there was absolutely no rust in it. This is a rock solid car. Um, beautiful body, but was stripped to bare metal prior to the refinish. Now you only want to open up the door just a little bit because the mirror will hit the spotlight there. Well, be careful, you got it. A lot of options on this car. We'll kind of give you a back peek in the back seat from here. It's got the uh, straps, the exit entry straps here. Now I mentioned it has airbags front and rear. Um, it's these switches here, front and rear, one turns the compressor on. The uh, heater itself, everything is functional. I'll repeat that over and over again. All the turn signals work like they're supposed to. All the gauges have been gone through. The uh, temp gauge, uh, Jeff's an electrical wizard. The temp gauge has been updated so it's electronic and it's right on the money. Has a uh, Fulton traffic light finder because of the uh, visor it's hard to see a traffic light some people called these crow feet you'd see them in 57 chevys and cars of the 50s a lot these are not stuck to the dash they're just magnets but they are vintage am i missing anything jeff no. i think i got it oh, the, flashlight. the flashlight the red top flashlight right there 
Okay, well, you know, we're going to get out and we're going to let you get in and then definitely hang on to the end of the video. We'll get out here. Tell you to get in. Hang on. We're going to definitely cover the trunk for you. The undercarriage, so on and so forth. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. All right, let's take a look underneath the hood. Fun, just like the rest of the car. Looking at a uh, 235 cubic inch uh, straight six in it. It would originally had a 216 six in it. Uh, it's been updated with a little bit of horsepower goodies. Other than that, you're looking pretty stock underneath the hood here, except for the engine itself. Some nice early power goodies on it. It has a uh, Thixton uh, aluminum intake manifold where the uh, linkage is incorporated into the manifold. And it also has these cooling areas so that the fuel the fuel goes down, it runs a little bit cooler, not as hot as it would normally be. Has Fenton split headers on it and actually has dual exhaust. It has a nice sound to it. By this point in the video, you probably heard the car run. Um, it's got a uh, Powermaster 12 volt conversion generator alternator there. Has a uh, factory style GM Fram oil filter on it here. Uh, a lot of everything, every option on this car, this gentleman's very particular about everything working. We've mentioned it in the video before. The windshield washers do work. These, Jeff, are from a, uh, what did you say again? Truck. A Chevy truck. Those are cool air filters. Zenith carburetors on it, which have a manually adjustable um, main metering jets on them. So if you get up to altitude, this car, they've driven it up to Big Bear, up to altitude. It just, it's just a great cruiser. Uh, the transmission's a three-speed on the tree that has vacuum assist. We call it an automatic manual. Uh, the rear end has a uh, 350 ratio rear differential in it, so it's a factory rear differential. Has the Marvel Mystery Oil uh, engine cylinder lubricator, so that's a neat little thing, the vapor uh, liquidator. And it is all functional. This is a uh, overflow condenser. This is an NOS component that's on this car, so it's an overflow for the radiator. Has electronic ignition in it. Factory style distributor. Mechanical fuel pump. Again, this car will cruise down the highway at 70 miles an hour with the greatest of ease. Thixton aluminum uh, uh, valve cover here that matches the intake. A Wayne side cover. Just nice, the kind of car you can drive that, I mean, the, for anybody that sees this car is just uh, amazed by the, its look and beauty. And when you see one of these aero sedans heading down the road, they're unbelievable. Anyway, hang on to the end of the video. We'll definitely have more for you. Have a great day. Okay. <laughs> He's going to raise it up. We've got it down in the weeds for the photo shoot. He's going to raise it up all the way, so you can go all the way up. The back, it's raised up there. Now he brings it typically down to a ride height. He's bringing it down. That's where you think you drive it. Go ahead and turn it around and uh, we'll get the other side. Got two switches front and rear. You take a video of the trunk here. Notice it has a, uh, this is a remote fill for the spare tire. Everything works on this car, and that way they didn't have to take the spare out to uh, check it, check the spare. Original wheel, uh, original tool kit in here, or most of it. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com um, where we'll have plenty of more. A lot of photos of the options. All right, we're uh, headed back to the shop or the collection, and I thought I'd share with you a little bit of drive. He's shifting it. Again, this is the kind of car you can drive. It's vacuum-assisted shipping. Shifting. One finger shifting. Anyway. Go to Spud's right, Garage. Let's take a look at the undercarriage with benefit of a lift here. It's solid California car. The only modifications to the suspension are the uh, airbag, so you can kind of raise it up and lower it, which makes it kind of neat. Nice little driver quality undercarriage. Rock solid, been looking at it. Factory brakes. It has custom made trailing arms here. Um, 
type suspension. They've eliminated the parallel leaf springs. They've connected them with the forward points. Um, they've added a pan hard bar here to the torque tube, which is really nice. Owner says it drives like a slot car. Up the road, drives great, nice ride. Has one onboard compressor here. It operates two switches, front and rear bags. I'm gonna give you the inner rockers here, rock solid. Inner rockers on this side. Factory uh, vacuum shift transmission. Here's the uh, onboard compressor for the airbags front and rear, um, airbags in the front. They've added, a, so it's factory front suspension with airbags added and all they do basically is add them to the uh, where the coil springs would have typically been. The knee action shocks or the hydraulic shops on the top are still where they're supposed to be. These uh, shocks are a uh, add-on here which gives it additional stability. The car drives great. Nice little dual exhaust. Anyway, there you have it. Have a great day. Fun car to drive. Yep. All right, he's backing it out so we can uh, take it over to the park and photo shoot it. What an incredible looking car. Part of a collection, really neat little car.